So chromatography literally translates as writing with colour. Compare that to photography and cryptography and, well, you can think of another one. So the stationary phase, well, that's packed into the glass column that is the chromatography column. And the chemicals that I'd like to separate, in this case chemicals A and B, well, they're dissolved in what's called the mobile phase. So I'm going to pour those chemicals into that column. Now, the idea of chromatography is to split chemicals apart from each other that are in a mixture. So in this case, under gravity, these chemicals are going to start to move down this column. You'll notice that they're moving down the column at different rates. Now this might take a few minutes, well, not the video, the actual thing itself. And eventually you'll see that the chemicals have been split apart. And if you pour more, more mobile phase down, they'll split apart even more. And this is called partition. Now the trick with this is you've got to learn the correct words. So there's been a partition of the chemicals between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. It appears that chemical B prefers to be in the mobile phase because it went down the column with the mobile phase further. And chemical A seems to prefer being on the stationary phase because it stuck there it bonded there for longer and thus didn't move so far down the column. You've got to use the proper terminology for that. Adsorption with a D. That's the name of the process where the chemical sticks to the stationary phase. And dissolve. The chemical that likes to be in the mobile phase stays dissolved in the mobile phase longer. You've got to use these words. And the mobile phase might also be called the solvent.